Hi friends! Today we're going to make a very special ladybug craft. So what you'll need is two pieces of red construction paper, a black marker or black paint, a black pipe cleaner, some googly eyes, some twine or string, whichever you have, glue, and scissors. Okay? So with these two pieces of construction paper, you're going to put them together and oh, mark. fold it in half. Okay, it's folded in half. I'm going to make that line and then you're going to take that half and fold it over again to make a smaller shape. It's like a rectangle. All right. So then with your scissors, you'll have to have your mom and dad cut it or draw the line so you can follow the line and cut it. So I'm going to try to make a circle the best I can without marking it. Okay, Okay. so now you have all of your pieces here. We only need three pieces. So we're going to get our glue. Oh, gotta, it's a brand new one, so I've got to cut the tip of it off. Do that with mommies and daddies. <laughs> Let them do that. All right, so I'm going to put glue on one side. Come on. Is there a block? Ah! I'm silly. Ooh, glue. I love glue. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> so you're going to put glue on one side. You don't need a ton, just enough to hold it. You're going to take one side of this, line it up. It's like putting two wings together. So it'll be like this, okay? Then your next one is going to go like this. So you'll have three sides, okay? So on the side that you glued together is over here, and then the side's open. That's where you're going to put your glue. I'm gonna just whoop, follow along like this. Oh Lord. Okay, and then I'm just gonna stick this piece on, and I wanna make sure it lines up as best as it can with the glue. All right, so I have, oh, it got dark. Why is it so dark? There we go. So I have my three sides, okay? Boop, 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 boop. All right, so now I'm gonna take my black Sharpie. Now what is that one thing that we learned about ladybugs that they all have, you're right, their wings all match. They all have the same spots on both sides. So I'm using a marker, but you guys can use paint however you wanna do it. It is totally fine. You can use your fingerprints with paint. Whatever you feel like doing, you do. So I'm going to do one circle. It's looking very rough on my side because I'm just kind of doing it quick. Two circles and three circles. So I have one side done. How many should I have on this side? Three. I have one. Two, three. Now on this side, I think I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven spots, just because I feel like it. Okay, so then we have one, two, three, oops, four, five. Six, seven. And then on this ladybug, because look, they're all different, right? I think I'm just going to do, um, we did three on that side, seven on that side. Let's do one, two. 
One, two, and you guys can do as many as you want. You can do as little as you want. I'm doing two, three on each side, and then I just picked seven, you know, just to see. Okay, I'm going to get my googly eyes here. I have a whole bunch. Bring these forward. Okay, you're going to need your glue again. I'm going to do two dots of glue on this side. And I'm going to stick the eyes on. Ooh, we sliding. And do this side. One, two. Two more eyes. One. Whoops. Two. And two more eyes. One, two. All right, so I'm gonna stick that one on and stick this one on. Oh. Okay, they each have their own eyes. How cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then I'm gonna come back and put the antenna on. Okay, so it's had some time to dry. So I'm taking one of my pipe cleaners and I'm just gonna cut it, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna bend it. So I cut the little piece, do you see it? So I made it a V, v, v a V. So then I'm gonna take it, so at the very top where the eyes are, in the middle, I'm just going to put a little squeeze of glue. Let's hope this works right. And even though there are three ladybugs on our spinner, we are still just gonna do one set of antenna because from each side, it looks like it's for that one bug. So I'm definitely gonna need to let that dry, but can you see? Now we have our antenna. Good job. All right, now I'm going to take some of my twine. If you don't have twine, that's fine. If you have any other type of ribbon or string, that works too. So I'm just going to cut me a nice little strip and then I'm going to try to carefully, very, very carefully, put a hole in my ladybug without hurting it too much. And I have a spinny ladybug. How fun is that? You guys can tie it onto a tree in your yard, onto whatever you have. You can put it on a doorknob. But now you have your very own ladybug. And you guys can count out how many spots you want. Whatever you want to do, it is free for you to do. So I hope you enjoy this ladybug craft. And I wonder if we can create with um, the same kind of idea other bugs. Give me your ideas and let me know if you do this because I want to see pictures of how yours comes out. Thanks for joining me today. Bye!